Hello again. In previous videos, we have seen how to create a custom environment so that you can tweak your configuration, how you can turn your Kedro project into a Python package, and how you can deploy your Kedro project as a Docker image. In this video, we're going to very briefly describe how you can deploy your Kedro project to Airflow. And we will expand this content in future videos. Here I have the readme of Kedro Airflow. It's a plugin maintained by the Kedro team. So it's one of the official plugins. And as you can see, it ships with one command called Kedro Airflow Create that turns your Kedro project into a an Airflow directed basically graph or DAG so that you can then copy the script that's produced in a way that Airflow can see it. So let's see how this is done. Now, for simplicity, I'm going to use the baseline space flights project so that it's easier to start from and it simplifies a little bit how do we manage things. For that, I'm going to activate a code environment that I have prepared. This has both Kedro and Airflow and all its dependencies. So I'm going to spare you the details on how to install it. And then I'm going to do Kedro new with the Space Flights starter. When it asks me for the name, I'm going to give it Space Flights Baseline. And you will see that this is very similar to the project that we have been managing so far. So this is inside projects, one to black, space flights baseline. There we go. So I'm going to activate my environment again. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a catalog specifically for Airflow. This is not mandatory, but it can help me in the future in case I need to tweak some of the parameters of the datasets. For that, I'm going to create a new environment here called Airflow. We'll create a catalog.yml. And what I'm going to do is running Kedro catalog resolve so that the output of this can be directly pasted into the new catalog file. I can ignore the warnings and the logs and focus on this part over here. So this is going to be my catalog. All right, next, I'm going to create the actual DAG. For that, I'm going to run Kedro Airflow. But before that, let's install Kedro Airflow. There we go. And now I can do Kedro Airflow create. The target directory is going to be Airflow DAGs by default, but I can change it. So I can say that the output directory is going to be DAGs and I will select the Airflow environment. So minus minus env Airflow. As you can see, this is going to create a new directory DAGs that contains the actual script. Very briefly, this introduces an Airflow operator called Kedro operator, which is going to drive our Kedro pipeline inside Airflow. Now, the last thing I need to do is to copy my DAG script into my Airflow directory, Airflow DAGs. And after a few seconds, I will be able to see this DAG into my Airflow user interface. And here I have my Airflow interface. This is an Airflow server running locally on my laptop. So if I look here for Spaceflight Baseline, I'm going to see that the DAG was already imported, that I can see it as a graph. In fact, you see here the pre-processing task, the create model task, split data, train model, and so on. And I would be able to run this DAG directly from Airflow, see the execution status of each of the tasks, and do many more things. So we reached the end of this section. We already saw how to deploy Kedro as a Python package, 
as a Docker image and as an Airflow DAG. And of course, there are many other ways in which you can deploy your Kedro project and share it with other users. So that is the end of the practical part of the course. And in the last videos, we're going to see some extra things you might want to look into, encourage you to join our community and tell you some hints on how to keep exploring on your Kedro journey. So see you in the last videos.